Hi, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. All right. Hey, we're going to talk about my favorite sub today, which is sales. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, our sub for today, which is really, really cool, is going to really help you out a lot. You know, and I'm just going to sell it like this. How do you sell discontinued or discounted products and accessories? Okay, that's a good question. How do you sell discounted products? And discontinued. Yeah, some people say, oh, it must be real easy. Well, you got to have a game plan. Listen, a lot of times when a new year comes in, new series of uh, products come in. I mean, it's like a continuation, continuation of new stuff coming in and going out. You have to have a figure out a program with your company or with your business to be able to get rid of and get rid of those things, which are going to take up space, get old and you lose money on. So what we, we are talking about today is how to deal and how to talk with people about discon discontinued. That means things that they ain't going to make no more of and discounted. That means you're getting ready to get a good deal on. See, some people, they are always looking for a deal. I, myself, I'm always looking. I'm not cheap, but I, I like to buy things at a better price. And that's just what everybody's the same way about. Everybody's looking for the best deal. If they perceive in their mind that, hey, it's worth a lot more than the money I'm going to give you, then they'll buy. That's just the real, real truth. Remember, when you're selling discontinued merchandise in your furniture stores, in your business, you have to approach it like this. Okay, you know you got to get rid of this stuff. You know you're going to lose money on it, but are you willing to get rid of it? That's a good question because some people will hold on to stuff and it gets older and older and older and you lose all the value in it. So sometimes you got to cut yourself short. And, but you got to make sure you at least make it a little bit of profit if you're fortunate. Now, sometimes you got to go at it at a loss because you got to get new inventory in because people are always looking for the next new. But people are also looking for that discontinued one, that very last one. So when you have a showroom and you got a discontinued merchandise, you want to in every sale say, hey, look, we got this going on right here. Now, you may want to sell the brand new stuff, but if you got a whole lot more brand new stuff, and you got all this old stuff, and it's taking up room in your inventory, in your back room, or on your floor, you're missing out on the big money. Asking clients to invest in merchandise is cool. Now, when you're asking them, do they want to save money? Everybody's going to say, yeah, well, what's the catch? You're going to say, well, listen, I've got this product. It's a great product. And I think it'll work for you. Now, the brand new one of it costs $5,000. But the one that I have is half price or discounted $1,000. Same technology, just that's a brand new one. Did you want to go ahead and get the brand new one for $1,000, which has almost the same features, maybe a few different ones? Or you want to get this one and save $1,000? about you but most people ain't stupid they want to save some money so what you've done is you've given them an opportunity to say hey well the ball is in my court do i want to go ahead and get this this guy's a real salesperson uh, i'll take it because you just got a discount you just got something that's going to save you money you just got something that's going to say wow man i'm my mom my wife my family they're going to be so proud of me that i bought this i, I own it i'm so proud i got it at a discount Woohoo! everybody wants to buy discounted stuff i don't care who you are now listen you always going to have people who are cutting edge ain't nothing wrong with them we appreciate you because you're the ones who buy all the good stuff and then make the price go down. You get that stuff, the new technology, and it's brand new. We love you, man. Buy it, buy it, buy it. And then with an amount of time, you can get something almost identical or the same thing at a discounted price. Now, remember, if you get discounted stuff, sometimes you run the risk of it, especially if it's like food and things. It might spoil quicker. But if you're buying anything that's of really good value, diamonds, gold, Nice cars, maybe you want to buy something special, and if you can get it at a discount, you're going to be a happy person. I know in my own personal life, I ask for discounts. I always ask this one question. Is it possible that I can save 10%? Is it possible that I can get 20, 30, 40%? I even ask it on brand new products. Sometimes these people will say, well, let me see what I can do. 
and they'll see if they can maybe get five or six, seven percent. They'll take care of taxes, which is really cool. Because, see, you've asked, you've given your permission to say, hey, I want to buy this. Can you show me how to buy it? And you've got clients. They may not even talk to you. you got these people. They're all, they're, they're going to every sale, garage sale. They're looking for that discount. Well, you know what? If you're giving products away, they probably wouldn't take it. But if you give them a discount on the original price, they'll say, hmm, I wonder. Look at all the money I'm saving. And everybody, like I said, is looking for a deal. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking for a deal right now. Listen, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, and we're having a very simple conversation. You know, it's real important, our subject for today, and this is how to sell discounted products. Just ask them, did you want to go ahead and go with that? It's really easy. It's already discounted. And if they say, it, can I get even a better deal? At that, bo at that point, you need to stick firm sometimes to say, no, that's the best price. And if they were real buyers, they will go ahead and, uh, oh, okay, I'll take it. Or they'll walk away because they really weren't concerned or they really weren't interested. But you can also ask this one question. Did you want to get it at that price? No, I wanted to say, well, what kind of pr what price did you want to get it at? And they'll look at you and go, you know, it says 180. I'll give you 150 for it. Will you work it out like that? And you know what? You've just got to sell. It's important that you know that. Listen, having a conversation and talking to people is half the main portion. It's the battle. We got to get through. We got to have a conversation because you can't sell nothing. I mean, nothing unless you have a conversation. And the big conversation we're having today is how to have that opportunity. You can put your promotions in your stores if you have it like that, or you can put it on media talking about your discounts. Now, remember, sometimes I've seen in the past where really bad companies would do what they call, they would, they would do things that weren't scrupulous. They would have customers, this is back in the old days, they would show a price, and as soon as they got there, the salesperson would go ahead and manipulate them and switch them into something else. That's not ethical. That's not good business. And that's not what Gary Lee Stanley's all about. I'm all about gratitude with an attitude. And, you know, if you're selling discounted merchandise, remember, discounts are everybody wants one. And listen, do you really want to hold on to that merchandise? Sometimes it's better to have something in your hand, money, than nothing. So believe me, if you've got products that need to be uh, sold, go ahead and let them know up front. Hey, listen, we got all this brand new stuff. It's real good and real pretty. But hey, did you want to go ahead and see our discontinued merchandise, the last ones? Yeah, you get a really good deal because they're sold right off the floor. And yes, they have a little bit of nicks and scratches, but that's why we discount it. We want to make sure you got the best price and deal for you. You got yourself a discount. This is Gary Lee Stanley. Listen, everybody thinks when they go in the stores, they see all these prices. It's 20% off, 30% off, 40% off, blah, 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 blah. If something wants to be purchased from a customer, they want to buy something, they want to own something, they're going to go look. And a lot of times, they don't even know what they're looking for. They're looking to buy something. And they just need a salesman like you to go out there and sell them something. Listen, it's real important that... We just wrap our mind around discounts. You can give discounts off your merchandise, but a lot of times if it's brand new, don't give away the, the farm because you can make commission. And every time you lower the price on your merchandise and by discounting brand new things, you really do lose your edge. And it makes looks like in every single time they'll, they'll say, well, when you get a brand new one, then I'll get, I'll get a better deal. Well, you can do that. But see, here's a good salesperson is going to go ahead and say, well, hey, listen, we're going to go ahead and show them up front our discontinued ones. And we're going to give them the best price. You're that important. So go out there and sell something. Talk to your clients about products that are discontinued, glass ones, floor models. And remember, you can alleviate all that pressure in your inventory. And you made some money. Sometimes you get to make some profit. Sometimes you lose. But if you got new merchandise in, because everybody's wanting what? New or discounted. So go ahead and sell it and have a great day. We just had a really simple conversation about why it's important to discount and your products need to be moved. You got to get rid of them, get new. <laughs> Don't be discounting unless you're getting discounted. Gary Lee's Daily. We just had a good conversation. Have a great day.
Go out there and discount something. <laughs>